all wine swingers. Well, the essence of what we do here is we wine swing. And that's why what we decided to do today with our wine club is swing along the Cabernet Franc grape. So we're going to try today some of the Cabernet Franc from Anjou in Loire Valley. We're going to try some Cabernet Franc from Argentina. And we're going to try some Cabernet Franc from Chile. You may not know it, but Cabernet Franc is the father of Cabernet Sauvignon, Merlot, and Carmenere. And according to some sources, there are early mentioning of it as early as, as early as 11th century in France. So that basically it's originated in most likely in Bordeaux. And there are two, two strong holds in France of Cabernet Franc. So one of them is in Bordeaux, where it used as a blending grape varietal and serve as an insurance policy if Cabernet Sauvignon doesn't ripen because uh, Cabernet Franc ripens a little bit earlier. And another stronghold and a classic for Cabernet Franc is in Loire Valley. And there are a few places that produce a pretty high quality of Cabernet Franc. So the most famous of them is Chinon. And there are some other places. So this time around when we're tasting and we love Chinon and we love some of the producers there. But this time around we decided to try something from Anjou. And this comes from uh, this producer that uh, has, it's a fourth generation French family uh, that founded this winery back in 1873. And now uh, they continue the tradition of the family. And another one comes from Fabre Montmoyer. And that's a French guy who immigrated in 1990s to Argentina. And he bought a vineyard in Mendoza and he was among the first ones to start, to start promoting Malbec, which is a, 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 a basically a, a variety that associated with Argentina most of all. So we're trying something of some of his Cabernet Franc. And lastly, we go to a really good producer from Chile. And here, that's a Cabernet Franc. And again, this is not a mainstream. They make a lot more of Cabernet Sauvignon. But we wanted to stay with and compare what happens when the grape travels down south. So when we go after the uh, French Cabernet Franc, it's going to be more restrained. And all of them pretty much are medium, medium plus, medium minus body, depending on a year. And something to always be on the lookout for in Cabernet Franc, if it's, if it's not fully ripened, you might get some of those green bell pepper notes or leafy notes. And when it ripens fully, it can create really a silky, well-balanced wines with really good tannins and uh, sometimes even uh, like a rosemary profile. So this particular one has a touch of raspberry, but it, it needed time to open up because at first it was quite green. And as far as tannins go, these are medium tannins and um, it's definitely going to be on the lighter body than the other two uh, wines. So um, here it was, um, uh, by the way, grapes went um, hand-picked and matured in uh, stainless steel. And now we're going to switch over to Fabra Montmayo, uh, that's from Argentina. So here they use 100% French oak, 50% uh, new, 50% um, neutral. And what we get here, on the nose you can smell a little bit darker berries. So it's probably moving more towards um, uh, like a riper red fruit. Uh, so maybe like maybe a touch of plum and maybe somewhere in between red and black currant. And on the palate you can sense that the um, fruit is fully ripe and there are no really green notes. And there is a little bit more tannin and a little bit more structure. And the last one comes from Perez Cruz in uh, Chile. So this one smells as a riper's fruit and it smells like cassis. And cassis is a black currant liqueur from uh, France. And it has a little like sweet vanilla note of it. And it's also, they also use some uh, French oak to age this wine. So in structure it's a little bit lighter 
and um, I also have a substantial medium tannins and a medium body and they all what's interesting they all smell different so that's why we love to go wine swinging with you and with our, with our club members because this gives us an opportunity to compare what's going on in each of those countries in each of those terroirs so please just follow us do more wine swinging pick a couple of different bottles from different regions of the same varietal so you can get a true understanding what the terroir is all about and how the place affects what's gonna end up being in your glass. Cheers and keep wine swinging with us.